Good day to everyone. May I greet you a pleasant good afternoon whenever you are, or good morning. In Europe, I don't know what time you are. Here in Australia, my time is um, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. In Dubai, maybe mid-morning. So let's talk about how are you able to get the gold and rough diamond. You're going to say, well, Amina, I've been following your YouTube channel and your Facebook. My question is, did you really watch the video thoroughly? Or did you click below it says show more? Did you really read the full corporate offer? On Diamond, did you really watch the video on Rap Diamond? Did you really read what that page was saying? That is my question. So when you come to Alamina, meaning to say you are ready, to purchase what you are looking for because I'm going to ask you how did you know my number how did you get my Skype and WhatsApp you're gonna say well Amina I've been watching your your video on YouTube okay that's good what did you learn out of that did you really watch the video properly did you really digest it why you wanna buy gold why you wanna talk to Alamina and did you really read the full corporate offer thoroughly on every video? Mm -hmm. When you come to Wilhelmina, that is my question. <clears throat> You're going to say, Wilhelmina, I have the buyer. Well, I don't deal with that. I want the buyer to talk to me because he wanted to buy that particular item like gold and rough diamond. Now, I'm going to explain about gold first. Africa is 54 continent like Nigeria, South Africa, Nairobi, Congo, Mozambique, Namibia, North Africa, Tanzania, Liberia, Ghana, Mali, Conakry, and Sierra Leone and so forth. So I'm not going to elaborate that because I don't have time. I only handle miners that produce gold in West Africa like Mali, Conakry, and Sierra Leone. Now, Wilhelmina just been to Africa. I bring the buyer to my head office in order to assist the buyer to get what he's looking for. Now, Wilhelmina is not an agency. It's not. I am your business facilitator. At the same time, I am the seller, marketing consultant, and mandate authorized mandate to market on their behalf so for short i am the extension of the seller i am their partner so when the seller produce rough diamond and gold they're gonna tell wilhelmina wilhelmina this is the production ready for export so my job is to tell the world that he we are the seller hi we have the supply available. We have gold, tons of gold. And we have carrots of rough diamond, thousands of carrots. So you have to tell me, what are you looking for? Are you a diamond cutter? Are you really a buyer? Or are you really a gold trader? Something like that. You need to be specific. You just like to apply for a job. You are going to be prepared your by your data you come to the company to apply for a job and you're gonna be interviewed why you want to apply for a job what is your qualification what is the purpose why you want to apply for a job of course you need the job buying gold exactly the same you're applying to purchase the supply for your business you are applying to secure wrap diamond for your business Something like that. So I think I already explained to you. So on this video, you have to listen and click below. It says show more. You click the link. You will be redirected to my platform on my Facebook. You can scroll down whether you want to go to Mali, whether you go to Conakry, whether you go to Sierra Leone. So you have to tell me, well, Amina, I watch your Facebook platform and I've been to your YouTube channel 
I'm very interested to get the gold. Okay? How many quantity? My question, when you come for conference, you have to open your camera for interview. I am interviewing you live. Don't be scared. Don't hide your face. Because a minute you hide your face, to me, you are not a buyer. To me, you are an online stalker. You pretend to be a buyer. You never know you might be a criminal. You never know. So I'm very, very strict because this is half a million dollars you are buying. You are not buying potato here. Even potato, you need to pay the potato. You need to, to look whether you like the potato, whether the potato is unwashed or washed. Something like that. I'm just giving you a hint. Now going back to gold. Gold produced in Mali. Tons of gold. Gold produced in Conakry. We have tons of gold. Gold produced in Sierra Leone. Diamond produced in Mali, Sierra Leone, and Conakry. I would like to know how are you able to secure? Because this is not CIF. This is not cost insurance and freight only. This is cash business. You have to understand that. Before you come to Wilhelmina, you need to prove that you are able to pay what you are buying. Now, you're going to see Wilhelmina, how I'm going to, to pay. Well, you have to place your order. There, Wilhelmina, on your company letterhead. Not cut and paste. Because I wouldn't buy cut and paste. I want to see whether you're a buyer or not. There, Wilhelmina, I watch your YouTube channel and I went to your Facebook platform. I'm very interested to purchase gold in Mali. Okay? Or, Wilhelmina, I'm interested to purchase gold in Conakry. Or, Wilhelmina, I'm very interested to purchase gold in Sierra Leone. So, Wilhelmina would be a good listener to your needs. So during our interview, I would like to require you to open your camera because I want to distinguish whether you are a buyer or not or whether you are online stalker. Mm -hmm. So you will running, running, running around pretending to be a buyer, but at the end of the day, you are not a buyer. Why? You cannot afford to pay. Why? When you come for conference with Walamina, three questions I'm asking you. Did you really watch the video properly? Or did you really read the full corporate offer on every video? On which video you've been watching? Because every video, the full corporate offer and the link to buy the diamond is on that video. Even on this video. So when, you, when I ask you, you're going to say, oh, not really. Well, you have to go back and read again. And then you're going to say, well, Amina. I have the buyer. Oh, I see. So you are online stalker. Mm -hmm. Oh, Wilhelmina, you teach me. No, I'm not here to teach you. Because when I teach you, I am not a professor. You went to school, you pay your tuition fee, right? In order for you to learn. Now, this is a practical learning. This is a university of hard knocks that Wilhelmina is giving you free information worth a million dollars. But if you are not paying attention to me, you are not worth a million dollars. You are useless. Excuse my language. Mm -hmm. Now, gold has many uses, right? You're going to say, well, Amina, I want to buy 24 carats. No. You have to buy 24 carats at the refinery because the refinery already refined. Our gold is 23 carats, 97 purity. Why it's 23 carats? If the gold is 22 plus, meaning to say it's 23 carats. The most important is the purity. The gold in Africa, the purity is from 95, 96, 97, 98. It depends on every bar. So you have to buy a gold analyzer when you travel to buy go Dory bar. Because you are buying raw materials. You're going to say, oh, well, Amina, in Africa, there's so many scammers. Correct. What is the meaning of scam? Meaning to say, the seller can deceive you or you are going to deceive him. So both vice versa. Buyers can be deceitful or the seller can be deceitful. How, how are you going to distinguish that you're going to be deceived? Right? You travel to Africa. 
you place an order first. You send a letter of intent out when you come to Wilhelmina because I'm going to distinguish who you are. So you're going to send, Wilhelmina, I watch your video on YouTube channel and I went through your platform on Facebook. I am the buyer. I am willing to travel, Wilhelmina. How are you able to assist me? That is a very good question. First of all, I would like to ask you very blunt question. If you are a buyer, you already watch my video. It's uh, meaning to say you read the full corporate offer. I want a copy of your business registration. I want a copy of your importation license. I want a copy of your passport and the proof of fund, the value of your order. Because during the interview, I'm going to ask you how many quantity you want to buy gold. So, oh, well, I mean, I want to buy two kilos. It's not worth it because this is for export. Minimum order is 10 kilos. When you purchase 10 kilos, meaning to say it's worth it because the, there is an expenses. There would be an expenses on top of that. So you're going to ask, well, Amina, what is the price? That's a very good question. Now, the price of gold, it varies day to day. Whatever the price on the world market of the day, our selling price is LMA. Right. So you, how much will Amina, how much is the price? How much is the dis discount? Now, you're asking me that you're going to purchase 24 carats, right? We don't sell 24 carats because you are buying raw materials from us. So if you are looking for 24 carats, you can buy that to the jewelry manufacturer because jewelry manufacturer can make into 24 carats the raw materials. Mm -hmm. So you're going to say, well, Amina, I want to buy one kilo or two kilos testing. No, it's not worth it for you. Keep your money. Because... If you trouble, I can guarantee you, you're going to fail. Why? There is a valued added tax. There is a government sales tax on every bar. Because that is the property of the government. So the, you're going to say, well, I mean, I want to buy gold. No upfront. To me, you're bullshitting. Because there is no upfront. You have to pay for it. Plus, government sales tax. That is normal. In your country, you purchase product, you purchase any or anything, plus VAT, valued added tax, right? So you cannot say, oh, I want to buy gold, no upfront. To me, you're bullshitting, really, to be honest. Excuse my bluntness, because I need to correct your, your crooked mentality. Gold is not for free. Gold is not banana. It's not. Even banana is too expensive today because we are under inflation. Gold is very expensive. If you don't have the half a million dollars, forget about it. Find another job if you don't have half a million dollars. Right. The minimum order is 10 kilos. Now you're going to see how much is the discount. Our selling price is 5% LMA based on the world market. 5%. Use your calculator. Figure out. Don't ask me how much. You figure out. Go on the world market. What is the price on the gold world market? World market, least five percent, right? Then you're gonna figure out. Oh, I'm buying expensive item. Of course, it is expensive. Now, I can give you a very good price, provided I'm going to ask you how much you can afford. Oh well, I mean, I don't have any profit. Of course, there would be. Because the gold is money you're buying. You're buying money to make money. So therefore, there is a profit. So, well, Amina, I'm just new in this business. Ah, you are new in this business. I see. Where the gold to be delivered? Because most of you want the gold to be delivered in Dubai. Because you are going to resell it. Right. You are, go you are a trader. You buy and sell. You're going to sell it to your own customer. That is not my business. It is your business. I'm just guiding you here, right? So you're going to say, well, Amina, I don't have a profit. I will give you a very good price. You will get a profit. Now, when you travel to Africa, 
you need this lady in front of you yeah and i do charge my extra services meaning to say when i accompany you to mali conakry or sierra leone i do charge to cover my airline ticket my travel insurance hotel accommodation and food yeah you're gonna see how much will amina then i'm gonna ask you how much you can afford because you're buying half a million dollars here right so when you come we're gonna have a very good discussion live video call conference you download your skype i want to see you right i want to interview you on the spot i can see that you are a buyer or on the spot i can see that you're a time waster then you're gonna be rejected if you are not doing your job if you are not prepared just like when you apply for a job you wear nice suit you bring your bio data you are going to apply a job to Wilhelmina you're applying a job to buy precious item to Wilhelmina because Wilhelmina is an extension of the seller I have the right to say yes or no I have the right to reject you and I have the right to squeeze the arm of my head office to give you a very good price. Now, I mentioned to you 5% LMA based on the world market. So don't bank on it because you have not confirmed. I'm just giving you an example. You go on the world market, whatever the price of the gold on the world market, at least 5%. So you're going to say, well, Amina, how are you able to assist me? That is a very good question. Okay. Can you afford my trip in order for you to assist on the ground? Then I will squeeze the arm of my head office to give you a very good price because you covered my travel cost. I can give you from 8% to 10% instead of 5%. Why? That 15000 I'm going to charge you to cover my expenses is worth it. So you're going to say, oh, well, I mean, that's too expensive. Well, you're buying expensive item. If you cannot afford to pay my expenses, you can travel by yourself. I will arrange the contract, your order. But if there is an issue on the ground, Wilhelmina would, be with, would not be with you. I cannot help you right this gold business is a very tricky business very now you're gonna say oh i don't trust africa don't buy don't don't buy any product in africa if you don't trust because i don't trust you either why in africa there's so many big company already positioning in africa chinese australian mining company is in Mali, is in Conakry, is in Sierra Leone. German company, Italian mining company, they are positioning their business in Africa. Why? Africa is a huge continent and huge natural resources like gold, diamond, emerald, bauxite, cocoa, oil, gas, and so forth. Right. So if you said, I don't trust Africa, don't buy Keep your money, put your money, but time deposit in your bank. The time deposit, if you keep your money, is only 3%. Now, if you buy gold for 12 months, right? Use your calculator. 75 to 80% profit for 12 months. But on trial, you would not get much profit. Yeah? Because you only can afford 10 kilos. But when you increase it, I can assure you, you will become multimillionaire. But you will not become multimillionaire on the first transaction. Impossible. You will gain profit when you continue buying gold every week or every month. Yes, you will become rich. I'll give you an example. I was in Ghana 2012. I met a guy. He has a partner, American partner, and he opened a refinery. I'm not going to mention this guy. I met him during the time when I was in Ghana. 
I handled Ghana, but I fired all of my seller. Why I fired them? The seller that I have are devious. I was being screwed by the buyer and the seller. So I fired them. Don't go to Ghana. <laughs> you will never get gold in Ghana. Why? There's so many refineries in Ghana fighting each other. Why? There is business. There are 14 refineries. Now going back to this gentleman. Now he owned the refinery, but I'm not going to mention his name and his refinery. When I meet this guy, he invited me a cup of coffee because I was being screwed by Eric Blasco and Martin uh, Cortes. He invited me in his shop, in that hot particular hotel. And you know what he said to me? You are a very courageous woman. In this hotel, there are so many foreigners. They're all thieves. I said, no, they're not thieves. They're here to find a supply. But they're looking for cheap rice. You know what them, this gentleman says? Well, Amina, there is no cheap rice. Gold is money. Gold is precious. So in the beginning, he was marketing. He was marketing gold produced by the villagers. The villagers are illiterate. He become instant millionaire. He got the partner, American partner. I'm not going to mention the name of the American. I know the American partner. And uh, the, he opened a refinery. That Ghanaian, he also screwed my client. And he screwed that partner, American partner. Can't you imagine that? African is also devious, no matter how good is the African. In Africa, there's good and bad African. In Australia, there's also good and bad. When it comes to money, everything is an evil. Now, that is my experience to share with you. You're going to say, I don't want Africa. Don't buy. Because to me, I move on. Because I do believe that Africa is rich on natural resources. If you have, if you fail, move on because you will recover your losses. I was being scammed big time, you must remember. And you're gonna hate my guts. Well, too bad if you hate my guts. Because to me, I move on because I do believe that I can help this African seller that produce gold. Yes, this African seller, he was also been deceived by the buyer asking CIF, cost insurance and freight. There is no cost insurance and freight here, my love. This is cost business. That's what I told my seller when I was in Africa. That's the reason why you lose gold and the reason why buyer lose his money because you offer the buyer CIF cost insurance and freight only. That precious cannot leave the country if the export documentation is missing. So you better be there with Wilhelmina and I will assist you. Now, <clears throat> this time, I will advise you that you need to be with me and I will stay with you on the ground. Do not leave the country unless your item has been shipped and arrived safely. And I will stay on the ground. Why? In case your gold would not arrive on your destination. First of all, you have to insure the gold. You have to. Because if the gold will be missing, you can claim your insurance. That's not my responsibility. It's not. And you need to have a logistic. I am not here to recommend you the logistic. The head office has its own logistic. You have to do the research. Because in Africa, there are so many good logistics. Like brings g4s and so forth so that is not my job my job is to accompany you to guide you and i will help you. you're gonna say well amina can you find me the logistic yes but i am charging you you must remember so can you afford fifteen thousand dollars to travel with you if you cannot then so be it good luck you can travel yourself but if there is an issue don't come back to Wilhelmina. There was a buyer, he traveled 2020, and I told him, I cannot help you because I'm not around during that time. There was a lockdown for two years. 
So I cannot travel. Mm -hmm. I just travel this year because the border was open. So I told him, wait until I travel. Yeah? So he encountered disaster. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Baya, I think I explained to you the full corporate opera is in front of you on this video. Now, I was in Dubai a uh, few months ago and I stopped over and I went to Chevalion and I went to uh, after Chevalion we went to uh, downtown Dubai sticky bit sticky bit means stalking every every uh, shop owner <coughs> so I decided to buy a jewelry for my husband this is the jewelry now you're gonna see Wilhelmina I'm buying 24 carats this jewelry that I bought for my husband is 18 carats yeah the measurement the weight is 38 grams yeah where did I buy this at Dubai gold soap 18 carats the value of 1500 US dollar this is already refined so remember a few minutes ago I mentioned to you that gold has many uses gold can be 22 23 21 22 18 17 10 carats or 9 carats so the price of gold it varies from carats to carats can you imagine this there is gold but it's not pure there it's not pure there is only few gold there is um 18 carats of gold and the rest leads and silver yeah so can you understand what my explanation you're buying 22 plus which is 23 the purity is 96 97 this one the purity is not much this is only 18 yeah there is gold but only 18 now you're buying dory bar the purity is 96 97 98 so you can smell that into different uses you can smell that into jewelry 22 carats you can smell that 24 carats but very expensive so we are not selling refine you you are buying and refine can you understand what i'm saying here mm. so now let's talk about rough diamond yeah rough diamond produced in conakry the best uh, stone conakry is the fourth country produce gold and diamond sierra leone is noted to produce rough diamond and they have also gold they are fifth country produce gold but they are noted that they are main producer of gold and diamond the diamond coming from Sierra Leone if you are on my Facebook there is a, a video about import big uh, firm purchase diamond from Sierra Leone if you watch that video on my Facebook then you will understand now on diamond at least you can spend at least you have to purchase your starting capital at least a hundred thousand dollars why if you have a fifty thousand dollars capital uh, it's really small uh, profit margin <laughs> if you have one hundred thousand dollars to play with and you are with me instead of 1500 and 1800 per carat i can negotiate to my seller that you can be given a flexible price because african seller is very hard to deal with very it doesn't matter if he is my seller now on diamond you need to have a gemologist as well if you are not confident you want to make sure that you want to make sure that the, the stone that you are buying is real 
you hired your own gemologist. You do the research, okay? And my seller, they have their own gemologist. Now, I handle different sellers. So when I interview you, I would distinguish which seller I'm going to put you. That's why you are putting, you are paying me $15,000 my extra. It's very cheap, it's peanuts. I, I, I'll give you an example. There was an American guy. He went to Philippines. They wanted to buy gold. That gold, Philippines has used deposit of gold coming from Yamashita during the Second World War. You know that guy, American guy? He was stuck in the Philippines. And he called me. And uh, he asked me if I could help him. Because I was born there. Right? So I speak the language. So I told this American guy, how long you been in the Philippines? A month. Really? So you're staying in the hotel and you're paying the expenses that the buyer pay you. You know how much the buyer pay that gentleman? He's a facilitator. A hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. And he fell. Yes. And I told him, you better go back to California. He is buying gold that left during Second World War. Yamashita gold. And I told him it's very difficult to take the gold out of the country because Philippines is corrupt. And you cannot take the gold out of the country without bribe, bribe, bribe. You have to bribe. Even in Africa, you can bribe, but just not much. In Philippines, bribery is huge, especially in custom. So he did fail. Because that seller, the owner of the gold that found that on the cave, has no license. So how are you able to take the gold out of the country if you don't have the license to export? Right. So that gentleman, American, he was being offered and the buyer from America paid him $100,000 and I only charge you $15,000 is peanuts. Right. And you're buying to the miner that have license to mine and have license to export. Which one you like? Huh? Can you see the logic here, Mr. Buyer or Mr. Broker? Mm -hmm. Now, going back to diamond. <clears throat> you, the diamond is on my platform already. You're going to see, well, Amina, send me the picture, the date. No, I'm not going to send you a picture. You have to view the video. That is the manifest already. It's easy if you're a buyer. It's easy. So you view that page that I'm going to give you the link. You view whether you want to buy diamond in Conakry or Sierra Leone. You select the stone out of that manifest video. Then send it to me, Wilhelmina. I need this stone. <clears throat> How much is the stone? Because the stone, it varies from carats to carats. And when the government value the stone, there is a price for that. Mm -hmm. So that is the reason why you need Wilhelmina to be on the ground. Now, I know there is some instances that the buyer failed and sometimes the, the diamond didn't arrive. So that's not my responsibility. Your responsibility as a buyer, you need to make sure that the stone will be delivered to your destination. So I have a bad experience already. So I am sharing you this bad experience so that you're going to be aware. <clears throat> if you're going to travel with Wilhelmina, I would stay on the ground and you leave the country. Either you hand carry. If you're going to hand carry, it is your responsibility, not mine. But if you're going to deliver or you're going to ship it to your destination, make sure you understand that the parcel, the consignee, the person will receive it. So you're going to be there. You're going to fly while the stone is flying at the same time. So when you arrive on your destination, you're going to be, you're going to be there to claim it. So don't blame Wilhelmina that there is an issue. Yes, there would be an issue. My job is to bring you to the office, 
you hire your gemologist, you're happy, you make a payment, and then that is your job now. My job is out. Because you understand you sign a contract, right? And if there is an issue, if the go if the diamond didn't arrive, well do not blame Wilhelmina. Do not. You blame yourself. That is the reason why I have already a bad experience. I am sharing with you that would not be repeated. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter he is my seller. Now I have a very good seller in Sierra Leone and Conakry. So I explained it to my seller that we have a bad experience. And my seller said, I feel sad. That's uh, That exporter, he ruined the name of his country and her country. So I am sharing you so that you would understand this is not an easy job. Yes, when you resell the stone in Dubai, when you cut it, yes, your profit is 50%. But I'm not teaching you how much is your profit because that is not my job. My job is here, the stone, the price from 1,005 to 1,008 per carat or more. So you have to be with me so that I can renegotiate the price, right? And my seller is paying my work. I only charge you my travel cost. So let us be practical and you must understand that you pay my extra. But if you cannot afford my extra, you can travel. But if there is an issue, don't blame. Hey, Wilhelmina, you, <clears throat> your seller is a scammer. No. Do you understand the meaning of scam? Means you were being deceived. The seller deceived you and you deceived yourself. Why? You don't have the money. You only pay the down payment. Now, this is um, an experience that I'm sharing with you. Do not leave the country unless you get the paperwork. Yeah, I'm going to be with you. And I'm not going to be in a hurry to leave. That is why you have to book your ticket at least 15 days. At least. Why? In case you're going to extend, you have enough time to stay on that particular country. Because I have already bad experience. I am sharing you. Yeah? Now, going back to Dubai, most of the buyer bring the gold to Dubai because Dubai is a hub. Now, when I was in Dubai, I um, met a gentleman. He was been following my blog, YouTube and Facebook. He walked into the restaurant. Say, hi, Wilhelmina. I said, who you are? Yeah, I'm Raj. Oh, really? How did you know me? Oh, I've been following you. So not knowing that I have a buyer with me on the table. We were been having lunch. <clears throat> And uh, well, I'm talking to Raj, and while I'm talking to him, I introduce him to this small buyer. So they, we were then friend, and he took us to his house. He lived in a nice village, rich village, but he's also smart. So I introduce Raj to this uh, buyer, and I don't know what happened. So I told her that. Go for it. So I'm not selfish. I'm not greedy at all. I'm willing to help you. I, I'm willing to assist you. You get the profit. Yeah. My job is not easy. And then you blame me that, oh, I was being scammed. No, you were not being scammed. You were not. You were being deceived. The meaning of scam means deceived. And the, the parcel didn't arrive because that person has an issue. So I'm just giving you an example. That is the reason why I do charge my travel cost. Used to be I charge 10,000. Now because the inflation, of course, the ticket has been increased. The hotel accommodation is no longer cheap. The food is no longer cheap. Yeah. So why are you bargaining? You bargain my services? You 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 can you can travel by yourself. You don't need to pay my extra service. You can. Let us have a contract. Send me your business registration, importation license, passport copy, the proof of fund. 
I will arrange, I will monitor the movement, but if there is an issue, do not blame Wilhelmina. Do not. I already explained to you here. Right. So, I think I under I am um, explained thoroughly and I hope you understand what I'm saying here. You're going to say, oh, Wilhelmina is a scammer. I don't know. How much I scam you? Yes, you did pay my travel cost. Yes, that is not an scam. That is my services. My extra service is non-refundable. I purchased the ticket going to Melbourne and when I cancel my my ticket is non-refundable so i lose 740 dollars right i'm just giving you an example so my extra service is non-refundable you're gonna say oh i have to gamble of course you are a businessman you should know you should prepare whether you can afford or not if you cannot afford don't bother because i'm not forcing you i am here to tell the world we have the supply you can can you afford to pay the supply or which one you like you have an option you need volumina on the ground or you travel by yourself when you travel by yourself okay let's do the contract the contract means you and the seller my head office will sign a contract yeah even if you need volumina the contract must be prepared and the proper ma will be given to you in advance and the visa you will be the the company guest because I already gathered your vital information, your passport copy. So my head office will secure the landing visa that you are a company guest of that particular seller, which I'm going to put you. I would determine which seller I'm going to place you. Yeah, I hope you understand, Mr. Baya. Very thorough. Even grade one can understand. No one taught me when I was being hired by the seller. The seller didn't teach me. I have to do my research so that I can explain to you. Now, going back to this um, Jeep or, or uh, Brinks, I have the customer that he wanted us to bring diamond and gold to Brinks. Okay? This buyer wanted to buy gold and diamond in Conakry Guinea. Conakry Guinea, there is a Brinks. Yeah? So I've given him the link. I told him you do the research because that's not my job. My head office has his own logistics shaper. Right. So he sent me the contract from Brinks. The Brinks says here, okay, I'm going to have a look. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Just a minute. The Brinks is here that the Brinks will only receive the item when the seller show the export documentation. Right. The Brinks is not responsible. So the buyer say, oh, I'm going to have a contract with Brinks. Go for it. And the gold has to be delivered to Brinks. No, it wouldn't. You have to pay first the gold or diamond before my head office will hand over to Brinks because the seller will provide the export documentation as a report, attestation, ownership, custom clearance, etc. So the Brinks will only handle the shipping, the logistic. So that buyer. This is stupid. Excuse my language. Yeah? I will share you what I have done. I purchased the goods here in Brisbane. I used DHL. Right? And I bring my goods in the airport because DHL depot is in the airport in Brisbane. DHL opened the box how many items and what is the value of my goods they open it and change it into their box the value of my goods is 450 dollars send it to overseas so that dhl charge the shipping cost of 100 dollars and i did insure my goods 
in case my goods would be missing, at least I have an insurance. They charge me for forty-five dollars the insurance, the value of my four hundred fifty dollars. Buying gold and diamond exactly the same. You have to bring the item to Brinks or G4S. You have to pay the logistic. Yeah. So why you don't understand? That's why sometimes it irritates me. Sometimes I call you guys dumb dumb means dumb. Don't pretend to be dumb because you're not dumb dumb. You are an exporter. You are buying precious item. You are a trader. Buy and sell. Now, did my seller explain to you? No. The seller would not explain to you. No. My seller said, here's the contract. Follow it. You pay bank to bank to the seller's bank account. Well, Amina is explaining to you this explanation, this information worth a million dollars. You are not paying me. This information is for you. But when I travel, yes, I do charge. Why I'm going to travel for my own expenses? What for? And then when you resell the diamond and gold, you become millionaire, you get the profit. I've given you already the vital information. If you cannot afford, don't be involved in this business. To all joker broker, I'm not interested to deal with you. I'm sick and tired. I prepared to deal directly to the buyer because I want the buyer to understand. I want the buyer to come back. There's a lot of failure here. There's a lot of um, cheating here if you're not very careful. I was being cheated. The buyer was being cheated. The seller has been cheated. Why? They're all ignorance. Yeah? They're all ignorance. They want to cut corner. That is the reason why I have to be with you guys. Whether you like it or not, don't buy. If you don't like Wilhelmina, so be it. Because this is for your own benefit. Now, going back to this necklace, right? When I took this out of Dubai, I declare this and I show the receipt. And I was given a refund of $60. I did pay the valued added tax, yes. Exactly the same when you buy gold and diamond, there is a valued added tax. And when you declare that on your taxation, you will get the refund anyway. So what is the problem? Can you see this? This is only 18 carats. This, I bought this one for my husband. Yeah? So I'm just using this as an explanation. So I hope you understand what I explained to you guys. You don't need to run around. You guys, you are stalking everywhere. He's talking to a group of them. What's up? Last night, I have a lady from Europe. He's, she was very demanding. I cut him off. Cut them, them off. I cut this gentleman. I said to this gentleman, your lady is very rough. I'm not interested. Both of them rejected. Yeah? They were having a video call on Skype. My question is very clear. Lady, what's your name? And who introduced you to me? The gentleman. And I said to the gentleman, my goodness, did you not read what I have on your Skype? Immediately, I rejected. What a waste of time. Yeah. She said that, um, oh, you bring gold and diamond to Europe. What for? You never know you're a swindler. You never know you're a hold up. Don't you know that this business is a very tricky business? Very. If you're not very careful. If you cannot afford to, to buy, if you're just brokering, 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 this is not for you. I know there's so many online stalkers, oh, I want to earn money, how much is my commission? That's not my job. This is not for you. The seller hired Wilhelmina. And you, as the buyer, you're hiring Wilhelmina as well. You don't need to pay the joker broker. I am giving you a very good price. And I have to be with you. You have to pay the services. Right? My services is non-refundable. Put that into your head. Whether you like it or not, so be it. If you don't like, good luck. And if you like, thank you very much. Then you're a winner. All right? Thank you very much. Have a pleasant good afternoon now. We are now on Wednesday, May 18, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'll and I'll wait for you on live video call when you watch this video. 
from my YouTube channel and on my Facebook. Click show more. Take time to read. Click the link if you want to buy diamond. Simple as that. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant good afternoon. And good morning to you or good evening, whatever you are.